today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's on my iPhone with you guys. I'm back from school and I'm on my summer break, so I get to make as much videos as I can within four months. I just wanted something quick and easy to film as my first video back. I've always wanted to film a what's on my iPhone because I love watching other people's what's on my iPhones. So, with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay. So to start off, I just have a white iPhone 5. I think the 6 is too big and I really like my 5, so we're gonna make it last as long as possible. Um, I just have a plain white case on it because I am basic and I just like everything white or black and that's it. Um, my lock screen is just a skinny girl and people always question me and think it's really weird, but um, I just tell them it's my inspiration even though I still eat McDonald's, so whatever. On my homepage, uh, we have the top row is all my social media and I made them look really cool with the Cocopa app, that one right there, so if you want to know how to get these cool looking icons then you download this app. I don't know, it's really confusing so you just kinda have to follow the steps. I have my app store, iTunes, Snapchat, it was supposed to be matching but it just disappeared one day so I just chose this cute little ghost dog for it. And then camera, photos clock. I want to know it's really funny, I have an alarm set for basically any minute, hour of the day. Our settings, maps, weather, calculator, reminder, mail, all of the basic utilities that you would ever need. On the bottom we have phone, internet, messages, and music. I like to buy my music so everything's pretty organized. And yeah, I love music so that's a popular stop. On the top we have the Cocopa, whatever the heck it is. FaceTime, Shazam also matches, and London Transit Watch is like for the bus where I go to school. <laughs> Audible, I've only ever bought one book and it was The Fault in Our Stars and I've listened to it twice, but that's the only one I've ever bought, but I really enjoyed it. Google Maps because sometimes normal maps just isn't enough, and then Pointless is where I shove all of the stuff that I don't actually care about that I'll never use. Um, 8 Tracks is where I listen to music also. It's free and you just choose what genre and stuff you want and then it'll come up with different playlists. I don't know what I just chose. I've never listened to K-pop in my life, but that's that. And then you have all of these cool playlist to go through and I really like it. When you use the Cocopa app it makes like a backup so there's like the original and then like the cool colorful ones so I shoved all of the backups into one little folder so there's Facebook, Instagram, if you want to follow me on Instagram all the information is below and yeah that's pretty much it. Might as well check these while I'm here. My friend Michelle likes to tag me in nasty squirrel posts because she knows I am afraid of squirrels and she likes to torture me like that, so that's disgusting. Next is Tumblr, which you can also find in the information box below, but I really like Tumblr, so that's always fun when you're bored. Shazam, I don't know if you know what it is, but if you're listening to a song in public or something and you're like, oh, I really want to know the name, you just put it on and you let it listen and it tells you which one it is. And Twitter, I don't use that often. If you want to follow me, you can, but I don't really use it that often. Um, Messenger to talk to people on Facebook, and Snapchat is always fun. Look, there you guys are. Woo! <laughs> Next folder is my Instagram picture editing folder. So we have pick effects, which I only like one or two filters on now, but it also gives you those little light dots and stuff like that. Um, quick. You used to put words over pictures, but I don't really use it that often. Photogrid is good for putting, well, it's good for collages, although I don't really make collages, but it's good for putting those like white parts on the side or just like around the edges or whatever you want. So you would just choose grid and then you can adjust the border and stuff like that. Foster is like, if I ever want to make an announcement or something on Twitter, like saying that I'm doing a Q&A or like anything that just requires words, um, I really like this one better than the quick one. Um, it has all of these cool templates to use and they're really creative and cool looking so those are fun. Photo editor, this is what I use for like adjusting like brightness and like 
saturation and all of those cool things. Perfect 365 it gives you like fake makeup, although I never really used it for that. I just kind of used it to smooth out my skin a little bit. If you don't want to pay for the one that I'll show you next, which is kind of expensive, I think it's like $5 or something, this one is like absolutely free, so if you're just wanting to try out something fun. And then Square Ready is if I want to upload videos to Instagram and I want the white sides, then that does that. Dropbox so I can get pictures from my computer onto my phone and such. And then Facetune is like the best photo editing app and you just open it and then I already have a selfie there but I haven't edited it. Um, basically you can do whatever you want but I use it to smooth out my skin as I said and then just kind of like add details to some parts and it makes a big difference and it's really cool. Okay, up next we have the games folder and any game that I have become addicted to like gets officially added to the folder and any ones that I'm still testing just like chill on the homepage. But so far, I love free cell, just like solitary kind of thing. I don't know, but I'm a nerd and I love puzzles. So that's why most of these are puzzle games. Um, Sudoku for when I'm really bored. Candy Crush is my life and <laughs> let's embarrassingly show you what level I'm on. So I'm on level 734, but um, yeah, let's not talk about how I have a Candy Crush problem. Next is Flow Free, and I think I beat it, but I don't know why it's still there. Giant Boulder of Death is actually really fun. I don't really play it anymore, but it was fun. Quiz Up for when I'm feeling really, really bored. I never really play it anymore. And then Heads Up when you're with your friends and you have absolutely nothing to do really fun. Next we have Drake Shake, which is the most ridiculous. You choose a photo, and so let's say whatever she is, and then you shake it, and then a different Drake shows up, and you can move him and make him bigger, and it's really sick, because who wouldn't want to add Drake to their pictures, you know? Bonza is also really fun, but after you beat all the maps, you have to like actually pay for more or boards. I don't know, whatever. But it's like a crossword puzzle and you have to put it together yourself. Next is my Drizzy keyboard because, um, yeah, obviously I love Drake and I need to use his quotes sometimes when I'm talking to people. Next is Tinder that I got when I was making my Tinder video. I must admit, it's so addicting, so I kept it but I'm debating deleting it again because it's kind of getting creepy. Splice is a video editing app, but for your phone, and it's kind of hard to use, but it's actually really good. Next is the dumb My Idol thing, and I actually can't understand anything, but managed to work it. Can I see any of the ones that I made? Like, how do I see what I already did? Basically, you just make yourself into this weird little cartoon and it's creepy. And last is SoundCloud, once again, so I can listen to music, so I have a problem. And then after SoundCloud, that's it. So that pretty much wraps up all of my favorite apps. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see a separate video on some fun Instagram picture editing tips, um, leave a comment down below. If you have any other video suggestions, leave those down below too, because now that I have time, I can try to get to as many of them as possible. Um, that's about it. If you aren't subscribed already, do that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! He goes on to say, but honestly, can I ask you something personal? So I said, yeah. Did you hurt? when you fell from heaven because you're an angle do you hear that guys i'm an angle